Hello everyone, welcome to MS Apti Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage user authentication options for Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. If you are assigned the authentication administrator role, you can require users to reset their password, re-register for multi-factor authentication, or revoke existing multi-factor authentication sessions from their user object. Let's sign into the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure Active Directory portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Users. Here, we can see the list of all users from our Azure Active Directory tenant. Choose the user you wish to manage authentication options. In this video, we will use a Test User 1. Click on Test User 1. We will be on Users Profile page. Under Manage, Click on Authentication Methods. At the top of the window, you have four options. By using first option, you can add authentication method for the selected user account. Let me show you that. Let's click on Add Authentication Methods. Click on this drop down arrow and select the method which you want to configure for the test user one. Already, I have created separate videos on it. So I'm not going to cover this in this video. Let me close it. And already, as you can see, one authentication method is defined there. Microsoft Authenticator app. Next, reset password option is used to reset the user's password and assigns a temporary password that must be changed on the next sign-in. Click on reset password. Click on reset password again. And you can see password has been reset successfully message. A temporary password is auto-generated for this user. Copy the password and give it to the user account. The user will be required to change the password during the next sign-up process. Let me show you that. I'm going to copy this password. Let's open new in private window. Enter the URL. Azure DPS colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com and press enter key to access Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Here, enter the username which is user1 at msaptwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com in our case. Click next. Uh, let me paste the password and click on sign in. We can see the message to update your password. So it will ask us to update user password for a user one. Enter the correct password. Again, I'm going to paste that password and let's set up the password here. After entering the password, click on sign in. Okay, click on yes. And we will be on Azure Active Directory Admin Center. This is how you can reset user's password and then after at the first sign in, user will change his password. I'm going to sign out from here and let me close the browser window as well. Uh, let me close this. So this is how we can reset a password for any user account in Azure Active Directory. Next option is require re-register multi-factor authentication. So when the user signs in the next time, they are requested to set up a new multi-factor authentication method. The user's currently registered authentication method aren't deleted when an admin requires re-registration for multi-factor authentication. After a user re-registers for multi-factor authentication, it is recommended that they review their security info and delete any previously registered authentication methods that are no longer usable. At the top of the window, click on Re-Require Register MFA. 
we got the confirmation message that operation completed successfully now this test user one will now be prompted to set up multi factor authentication again on next sign in already i have created video on how to set up multi factor authentication with microsoft authenticator app and phone based verification if required you can check out that video in this video i'm not going to cover that link is given in the description area so you can easily check out that video and the last option is revoke multi factor authentication sessions this option is used to clear the users remembered mfs sessions and requires them to perform multi factor authentication the next time it is required by the policy on the device let's click on revoke mfs sessions to revoke mfs sessions for selected user test to the one we can see the confirmation message successfully revoke multi factor authentication sessions so this is how we can revoke multi factor authentication sessions for any selected user in azure active directory in the last we will look at the steps to delete users existing app passwords for users that have defined app passwords administrators can also choose to delete these passwords causing legacy authentication to fail in those applications these actions may be necessary if you need to provide assistance to a user or need to reset their authentication methods non browser apps that were associated with these app passwords will stop working until a new app password is created to delete a user's app password click on users we will be on all users page at top bar click on per user mfa a new page opens that display the information about mfa status of the user account select the user you want to delete users existing app passwords for in this video we will use the user account of a test user 2 I'll select the checkbox in front of test user 2. A list of quick step options appears on the right side. Under quick steps, click on manage user settings. Check the box for delete all existing app passwords generated by the selected users. Select the checkbox. Click on save to delete the app password for the selected users. We can see the confirmation message updates is successful. Click on close to close the pop-up window. So now the app passwords generated by test user 2 has been deleted successfully. That concludes the video on how to manage user authentication options for Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.